hello guys welcome to our third tutorial of windows builder so in this video we'll understand what actually is a jframe and how to increase the sizes and what is the default size of this and what is content pane by default when you create a frame it by default adds a content pane to it the frame so we'll understand what is this and we'll go later on now so when you go to the source of this frame you can see there is some default code has been code has been generated i'll just increase the size general basic text font i'll go for 12 okay yeah i think so I'll close it. I'll just close it and open it one second. Yeah. So the size is increased now. So here you can see it's having some specific size. A default size has been created here. The size is 100, 100, 450, and 350. So what's this? So it's saying your x axis, the horizontal x axis is 100, and the vertical uh, x axis is uh, 100 and the width is uh, 450 and uh, 300 is uh, is the height so here how to understand is the when you click on set bonds by default the x axis is 100 y axis is 100 and the width of the frame is uh, 450 and uh, height of the frame is 300 so i think 450 and 350 is clearly understood but maybe you're getting confused what is this x axis and y axis so when i run the program you can see the, pro the application has been shown to the left somewhere else so it is so i want my application to open at this center place so in that case so i have to change the axis of the frame to be open for example i'll just again i'll show you when i run it it's showing by default to the left so when i click i'll just click on this and i'll make my x axis some 500 so that in my case it should move to some center here so i'll just save it and run yeah so it has moved to center now i want to move my frame to below like this it should come in center my frame should get something in center like this so I'll just make my Y axis to some 200 and I'll just run it again. You can see the frame has moved a little bit down. So I'll just make it 300 if it's possible. You can see the perfect chain now. Yeah, it has come to the down. So the, un the, the purpose of the axis is to make, to make sure your frames are uh, centered uh, good in center like that and with some axis and the bounds now we'll talk about the bounds I want my frame should be some size of this much and height should be something this size so I want my frame to be at this size so in that case what I'll do is I'll increase my width to some say 600 or 650 and I'll just run it you can see the frame has been increased its size and I want to increase the height as well so I'll just click on 400 or 500 I'll just run it yeah so it has been a little bit more down so I'll just decrease my bond size so now it could be center something like this so here you can see uh, what is how you can resize your J frames so that's how we can do it so in the next video we'll add few components and work on it okay thank you guys